This video tutorial is about finding solving problems using the inverse Poisson. Now you will need to have done some work on Poisson distribution before attempting to do it inverse. So uh, we've got our formulas here, uh, but what I want you to think about first is what is 5 to the power of 0? And what about 3.4 to the power of 0? Okay. Also, what about 0 factorial? So you might like to pause the video for a moment, put these into your calculator, and see what sort of response you get. Now, if you have a calculator like uh, this one here, then you want to find, I'll just go to ordinary calculator mode here. Now, you want to find a factorial button. You're going to have to go into options. We're looking for probability, so we're going to have to go across using F6. Here's probability under F3, and there's your factorial button. So we are looking for, just gone out of the screen, sorry. So zero, zero factorial, you'll have to do that on your um, calculator. Okay, pause the video and then come back. Okay, so you've had a plan in your calculator and you've found that 5 to the power of 0, 3.4 to the power of 0. In fact, anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And what about 0 factorial? Well, that is equal to 1 as well. So our formula simplifies to, here's our formula. So we've got the probability if x is 0. Okay, if and only if x equals 0. Then lambda to the power of 0 is 1. So the probability that big X is equal to little x is equal to 1 times e to the negative lambda. e to the negative lambda. All over if x is 0, 0 factorial over 1. So multiply by 1, divide by 1. Okay, that just simplifies down to the probability of x equaling 0 is equal to e to the negative lambda. Okay, so our, our formula simplified down quite a bit. So if you have a look at the next little note I've got here, the natural log is the opposite of e. And it also brings the power down. So it brings this power here down. Natural log undoes that. Remember in algebra, um, if we do something to one side of the equals, we must do it to the other side of the equals. Okay, so let's look at an example. Now this example comes from your ESA learning workbook. If you, use, if you have that book, access to it. It's on page 23. But it doesn't matter if you don't have access to it. If you're with the ESA uh, learning workbook that has lots of standards, you'll find it under the probability distributions. It'll still be exercise G in here. But let's look at this example. So we need to remember that Poisson starts, could be 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. Okay, so this says there is a 98% chance that there will be at least one destructive tornado in Townsend during the tornado season. So at least one, that's at least one. Two, that's at least one. Is one at least one? Yes, it is. So what I've coloured in in green, all of that is 98%, leaving this last little piece here at 2%. Now, if we know what the probability of x equaling 0 is, we simplify our formula down to this. Okay, so if and only if we know the probability of 0, our formula, our probability when x equals 0 is e to the negative lambda. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. Okay, so let's just double check our formula, e to the negative lambda. Okay, so the probability of x equals 0 is 2%. As a probability, we write that 0 0.02. e to the negative. Now the lambda here, on average, how many just tornadoes are there in the season? 
That is the thing that we want to find out. Okay, now if we take the uh, natural log of both sides, we can bring this power down as well as eliminate the E. So we want the natural log of 0 0.02. And when we take the natural log of this, we're left with negative lambda. Okay, so a calculator. Doesn't matter which kind of calculator we have. I just need to get one of them to open and show you on the screen here. Okay, so if we take the natural log here of 0 0.02, that was our 2%, we get a negative 3.912 is equal to negative lambda. So if negative lambda is equal to negative that, then obviously positive lambda is equal to positive 3.912. So there's our average how many destructive tornadoes there are in a season. Okay, so key points first. We must have no x equals 0. We'll be able to find it out. So, we must take the natural log of both sides. And this will eliminate the E. Okay, have a go at some exercises and watch a further video. If you have a, a graphical calculator, um, like this one here, which you can't quite, so there we go, the graphical calculator. Uh, after you've had a go using the formula, go and have a watch of my video on graphical calculators showing you how to do this um, using the stat menu on there. Okay, thank you very much. Have a go, practice some problems, and then we'll start looking at normal distribution after.